the living room wasn't well lit, and the air felt heavy. This was very different from Travis Kelsey's usual warm apartment. Taylor Swift fumbled with a piece of hair and looked back and forth between her boyfriend and the floor. Trav, I need to tell you something, she said in a whisper. Travis looked up from his phone and saw that she was looking very anxious, which wasn't like her at all. What's wrong, babe, he asked, his voice full of worry. Taylor took a big breath and got ready to say what she had been thinking about for weeks. I've been doing a lot of reflecting lately, she told me, and I realized that, the best relationship I've ever had wasn't with you. As Travis's mind raced, the room was dead silent. His heart was racing, and he felt hurt, confused, and shocked at the same time. Taylor's words were making no sense to him as he stared at her. Finally, he was able to get a word out. What are you saying, Taylor? Taylor reached out and took his hand, but she felt bad about it. I'm saying that the most fulfilling, loving, and supportive relationship I've ever experienced was with my fans," she said. They've been there for me through thick and thin, always cheering me on, and giving me the strength to keep going. As the shock wore off, Travis felt a wave of relief wash over him. A warm smile spread across his face as he squeezed her hand. Taylor, I get it, he said with peace in his voice. The way you connect with your fans is really special. Throughout your work, they've always been there for you and loved you. Taylor said yes, and tears started to form in her eyes. She said in a whisper, I'm so glad you get it. Travis wiped her tears away with care. He told her, of course I understand. I just want to say how thankful I am that your fans have been a part of my life for so long. So Taylor, he said with love in his voice, I want you to know that my love for you will never change. You're the love of my life, my best friend, and my crime partner. I'm proud to be a part of your journey with your wonderful friends." Taylor leaned in and kissed him, her heart full of love and thanks. She had a huge smile on her face. There was no longer any tension in the room. Instead, there was a renewed understanding and respect for the special bond they had with each other and with their millions of fans, who had become an important part of their lives. The French doors of Travis Kelsey's Kansas City home let in a lot of light, which cast long shadows on the soft cream rugs. On the table, Taylor Swift's favorite avocado toast and newly squeezed orange juice were still not eaten. Travis nervously fixed his Chiefs jersey as he felt excitement run through him. He was about to ask Taylor the big question that had been on his mind ever since they were dating quickly. Taylor's footsteps could be heard echoing down the hall. When she walked in, her signature red lipstick smile lit up the room. Morning, my touchdown king. Taylor welcomed him and kissed him on the cheek. What's with the look of worry? It looks like you're about to face Mahomes again. Tay. Travis spoke up as he reached across the table to grab her hand. His voice was heavy with emotion. I need to ask you something. Something important. Taylor raised an eyelid in surprise and her eyes lit up with interest. Go for it, Kelsey. You're making me feel scared. Travis breathed in deeply. His heart was beating fast in his chest. Tay, I've never felt this way about anyone else. You're my queen, my muse, and my partner in crime. I also want to know. Taking a deep breath, he asked, do you think we could be each other's, forever? Taylor's smile got softer and there was a hint of longing in her eyes. Her voice was barely audible as she gently squeezed his hand. Travis, you're great. You're funny, nice, helpful, and, let's be honest, the best tight end in the game. Travis smiled, his heart full of hope. But, there's something you need to know, Taylor said, but her voice was shaking. Someone else was there before you. Another person who is very important to me, and I don't think anyone else could ever come close. Travis's smile faded, and he felt a chill go down his spine. His name was Joe, Taylor said, but it was hard to hear her. And our love story was, magical. It was full of love, understanding, and a deep bond I've never felt before. There was something off in Travis's world. Joe? She dated singer Joe Alwyn for a long time. He was angry, hurt and jealous all at the same time, making it hard to understand how he felt. But, 
I love you, Tay, he stuttered, and his voice got rough from fear. Doesn't that mean anything? Taylor reached across the table and put her hands on his face. Travis, it means everything. But the truth is that my love for Joe was only going to happen once. It was like a love story from a fairy tale, and I will always treasure those moments. But our paths split, and I went my own way. When her eyes met his, they were full of love and truthfulness. Then you showed up, Travis. I fell deeply in love with you because of how charming and funny you are. You're the best thing that has happened to me in a long time. Travis heard with a mix of confusion and hope in his heart. Could someone have two great loves in their life? No matter how much Taylor loved someone else, she couldn't really love him. He looked into her eyes to find out what was going on. That's when he understood that love wasn't about competing or comparing. It was about accepting someone as they are, flaws and all, with their past. He said, okay, Tay, and a small smile came back to his face. I get it. I love you too. Yesterday, today, and tomorrow. As the sun shone on their entangled bodies, they sealed their newfound understanding with a passionate kiss. While they were having breakfast together, Travis knew that their love story was far from over. Something new was about to start, and there would be lots of laughs, love, and touchdown dances. Travis Kelsey looked through his phone and watched a clip of Taylor Swift's most recent show while the engine of the tour bus hummed through the floor. He put on a proud grin. When she started singing, Karma, the crowd went wild, and her blonde hair flew around her face. Travis had seen her perform a lot of times, but each time was still exciting. The media couldn't stop talking about how quickly they fell in love, but for them, it was just falling in love in the strangest of situations. Soon after, Taylor ran onto the bus, her face red from the energy rush she had just felt after the show. She yelled, hey, you, and put her arms around Travis. She teased, how was the show from the cheap seats, her eyes sparkled. Travis laughed and pulled her closer. He said, best one yet, in her hair. You were incredible, as always. After he thought about it for a second, he reached into his pocket. Talking about unbelievable. He started as he got a small box and held it out to her. Taylor's eyes lit up as she took it, and she carefully opened the velvet case to find a beautiful ruby pendant inside. She gasped and her voice was full of feeling as she said, Travis. It's not an engagement ring, Travis said, his cheeks getting a little red. But I promised. A promise that I will stay with this for a long time. That I love you more than anything, Taylor Swift. Taylor nodded, and tears filled her eyes. Her voice was heavy with emotion. I love you too, Travis Kelsey, she said softly as she kissed him. After the moment was over, there was a nice quiet between them as they enjoyed it. Taylor's face changed all of a sudden, and she looked like she was thinking. You know, she began, I've been thinking a lot about when I was with other people. And I came to understand. Travis tightened up, and a knot formed in his stomach. He had always known about Taylor's past relationships, the ones that made her write such sad songs. But he never asked her to say something nice about them about him. He was afraid of the answer. My best relationship wasn't with any of them, Taylor said next, her eyes fixed on Travis's. It was with my friends. I've never felt anything like the connection I have with them and the love and care they give me. Travis felt calm when he understood what she was saying. Hey, I get it, he said with a playful laugh. I also have great fans of mine. The Kelsey crew is the best in the business. After a short pause, he said, but we have something special for you, Tay. Something more than just being a fan. We have each other. Taylor smiled and reached out to draw the sapphire pendant's shape. She agreed and said, you're right. We do. There was a soft glow around the sapphire as they kissed again. It was a sign of their special link. This love story was written in the public eye and showed that even the biggest stars could find love in strange places.